y'all welcome back to Krista's Kitchen. So um, I've got a long day at work today so I figured I'd go ahead and get something simple going in the crock pot so that whenever I come home from work and I don't really feel like cooking dinner will be all ready to go with just a few little last minute fixes. Um, so I have my little crock pot out. Now I know y'all have seen me use my Ninja Foodie. You could use it in there as well but we're just going to make a very simple beef roast. Um, so just a few ingredients needed. I've got a three, it's a little bit over a three pound beef roast. And this one is boneless. If you have one with bone in, just remember that that's going to account for some of your weight so you won't have as much meat in there. So just dropping our beef down in here. You <laughs> see the kitty cat? We're gonna add a stick of butter. Now you don't have to ha add any kind of water or broth or juice because this is going to make its own juice. Sissy, can I have a fork please? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add in about four or five pepperoncini peppers and a little bit of the juice and a pack of au jus seasoning mix. Now depending on how it looks at the end, sometimes I'll add a second pack. If any, that one more. Just sprinkle it on top. Thank you. Like I said, I just add four or five. Um, they're not really spicy to me, but the kids say they are, so I don't want to put in too many for them. And then a little, just a little bit of juice. And that's it. The lid will go on, and we're going to cook this for about eight hours on low. And when we get back this evening, it will be ready to just pull apart. I'm going to make some potatoes um, and carrots and things to go along with it. But this is ready to go. Super simple. And we'll see y'all back in a little bit so y'all can see what it looks like at the very end. Alright y'all, so our roast should be all done. I did add in some carrots and um, some radishes about an hour ago and um, just to give it some more vegetables on the side and use up the radishes that I had. But whoop, I'm sliding it is so easy. Look how fork tender our roast turned out. And Again, it's just that stick of butter, a pack of au jus mix, and our pepperoncini peppers. And we didn't add any water, no water, no any of that. All of this is from what the roast put out, which is why I prefer a um, beef shoulder. I, I will get a, um, a top round or a bottom round every now and again. But I prefer the shoulder. It's much better marbleized and it's it's going to become much more tender. Your top round is going to be tough. It's a leaner piece of meat, so it's just it doesn't give you the same pull. You might still get a good roast, but you're going to have to slice it. It's not going to pull apart like this. Um, but we're going to let this cool down for just a few minutes because it is scalding hot. We'll plate it up and we'll show y'all what it looks like. So pretty and yummy already, though. <laughs> 